Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome, Five Minutes of Faith and Fitness. And today we're going to see how we can use the scriptures to get fit, not just physically, but spiritually to serve, not self, but to serve others. And there's many ways how we see in the physical, a lot of the physical attributes and the things that we experience and overcome, um, we can use them right in the spiritual. But I love how Paul is reminding the Philippian church and continuing to remind them about these things that um, to be careful and be aware of. Here's what it says in Philippians chapter three, verse one, it says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same things to you is not tedious, but for you it is safe. He's saying, this is for your safety. Listen to what I'm about to say. Like a, like a parent saying, don't touch that stove. Because you know what? If you touch it, you're going to burn yourself, kid. And how many times as kids, we want to experience the danger, the hot, the heat, the fire. Because we love danger. And so many times, it takes us a while to, to learn what God is showing us. He, he's not trying to take the fun away in our life. He's looking out for our safety, right? He lays out, you know, you Pharisees, you think you have it all together? You think you've gained the world with all these riches? Let me lay out what I was before knowing Christ. You know, I was dot, 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 Hebrews, uh, circumcised on the eighth day. I mean, he had it all. It was like that having been the richest person, Bill Gates or whoever you want to put in that place that you look to and idolize in, in this world, all of that. You know what? He said it was rubbish, garbage, manure compared to knowing Christ. And so much in our physical walk as well, we see that, you know, we we tried to search for this these these quick fixes. We try to chase after those shiny things that people think they have it all together, right? Um, like the religious rulers, like the Pharisees. But you know what? It's simple. It's doing the common uncommonly well. See, Bruce Lee said, this is a great quote. He didn't fear the person that knew 10,000 kicks. He feared the person that practiced one kick 10,000 times. This is what the Lord does in our life. He continues to want more and more reps. Get those reps in. Continue to rep it out because you're building strength. Paul talks about, you know, forgetting those things that are behind. Forgetting the past that the, the, the enemy wants to keep us in. You know, oh, poor you. You know, you were growing up in a, a horrible situation as a kid and you lost your parents and this and that and those. I mean, yes, we all have a story. God wants to use that amazing story that you feel pity on yourself. He wants it to glorify him and strengthen others because others need to hear that. They need to be strengthened by that. And that's what this Christian walk is all about. Strengthening, equipping, believing in Christ and letting him work through you in the strength. And, and he changes and transforms us from the inside out. Not from the outside in. See, in the physical, when we go to the gym, it's an outside in transformation for most people in life. They build up that bicep, right? They continue to build up that squat and build big legs and aesthetics and looking great. But you know what? How about the inside? How about the heart? How's that cardio? Can you walk to the 400? Can you crawl to the 400? Can you jog? Maybe burn it up to, to a sprint? Oh, man. Maybe it's too big that you can't even get through without an asthma inhaler. So we need to be balanced in life, making sure from the inside, because God cares about the inside, the heart is what he cares about. So don't be like the Pharisees and look at just the external, just about gaining riches in this world, because this is nothing but a vapor. We're here one day and gone the next. So guys, continue to look to him, the author and finisher of our faith, and remember that he is reminding you of these old things. It's not tedious. He's looking out for your safety. So listen to that still small voice, those blind spots yet you may have, because the quicker you can notice what he's trying to correct in you, the quicker we can grow in doing the things that he's called us to do. Amen. God bless. Bye.